Hey guys, Nicholas the Reactor here, and today I'm going to do another reaction video with you guys with another video. So, remember in the previous video, uh, Jeff, I'm sorry, Jesse destroyed Swift's TV over Call of Duty Blackout. But, for this week, it's about to be interesting. So guys, the name of this video for my reaction is called Moving In with Boogie2988 Reaction. I'm going to talk about this, what happened two years ago when I did my reaction video about what he did to him was crazy. And I'll tell you about it in a minute. So, before this crazy stuff happens with him and Swift getting into a fight of him kicking him out of this house, right? Jesse was at his apartment, you know, Swift's apartment, getting ready for Call of Duty Blackout to play. Because that was before this whole crazy moment of him breaking the TV over Call of Duty Blackout, even though Blackout 4 doesn't come out by maybe October or November, folks. And then, here's what happened now, if you haven't seen the video called, Psycho Kid Destroys Call of Duty Blackout, and then, or it should have been said, Psycho Kid Destroys TV. Here's what happened during the aftermath throughout this upcoming part of the video, folks, okay? When Jesse and Swift Got into a fight. Because Swift was about to kick him out of the house. I told you in the previous video a while back. That he's about to kick him out of the house. He posts his video for like 19 minutes and a few seconds. Which is not too long. Way better than before. Jesse's friend Swift was about to kick him out. But almost. They got into a fight over TV. Even though I understand. Because he explained to him. If he gets mad all the time. He'll just hit a desk. For me, I get frustrated if if I play on my if I play on my 3DS and all the other game systems I play. But here's the truth, folks. Okay, when after they get into a fight against each other, here's what really happened. His father, you know, Jeff, you know the psycho dad, sent a message telling him that he is not allowed to be in his house, and then all of a sudden. He knew that, he knew that he's not now in this house. So he wants him to take a picture of him going to the airport to Los Angeles. Which of course, that him and Swift are lying. Because you might hear a surprise, even though Jeff will find out that he might be going somewhere different than, than LA. So, we all know that Jesse knew he was lying. Swift knew he was lying. But... Guess who called Jesse to explain to this? Instead of Jeff knowing his psycho dad, it was Boogie2988 himself. So, Boogie had to talk to his talk to Jesse about letting him move to Arkansas, move to his house in Arkansas. Because the truth is, folks, okay, he has nowhere else to go by being homeless. Swift tells him he was being homeless because he destroyed his freaking TV. Just let it go, Swift. And I, and I understand what he did back in the previous video when I was not happy for what he did. But he got lucky he was about to kick, he was almost about to kick him out of the house. So, Boogie explained to him what he had to do. And now, Lance, he can't come over to Lance Stewart's house because he was laying. And now he decided to head over to Boogie's. Because, hold on. Alright. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Because, guys, Boogie wants him to move in with him. Now, guys, remember two years ago, I did my reaction video when it used to be the YouTube channel known as the Nicholas Science Show. Two years ago, back in November, folks, right? Remember back in 2016, way before Swift was the cameraman, Jesse and Parker decided to come over to Boogie's house for a while, and it's all because a pick boy known as Kippy on the camera decided to prank him with him because he wanted to pay back for what he did to his father by coming in over to his father's house, main rest in peace to your grandpa, who was really one of the best YouTubers ever. Um... Remember I did back about two years ago? Jesse, Jesse, remember, he attacked Jesse out of nowhere 
because he's trying to leave because he he's saying he's gonna he will decide he decided to hurt him. And then he went up to the attic, and then he decided to get him trapped in the attic because I told him on my on my old video two years ago to be brave, save Jesse from Buggy. From by getting him out of the attic. But the whole time, folks, it was a prank. It was all a freaking prank, folks. It was all a freaking prank. All because of pick a boy known as Kip behind the camera and Boogie2988. Alright? So, here's what happened now, two years later. Two years later, when I was, when, when that happens. He wanted him to move in with him again. Because, guys, after... After he tried to explain to him, he explained to him that he did he do had a guest room by going when, to, to sleep in the guest room. Because remember last time when he was at Lance Stewart's house, he couldn't sleep in the guest room because he doesn't have nowhere else to sleep. But now he had to sleep in the guest room in Boogie's house, which is good. So that's a good thing. So Oh, yeah, and Boogie, don't sleep on him like that, all right? And his father will find out that he was not in L.A. He's going to be at Boogie's house. Because that means if he's lying, he is going to be 100%. Hold on, folks. Here we go. He is going to be 100% frustrated and not happy. And I don't know what's going to be even worse than that. Because, guys. So, after the call with Jesse talking with Boogie2988, right? You know, Boogie. The next day, before the next day, right? Hold on, hold on. <sighs> um, he promised him that he will get him a new TV and give him a paycheck, which is cool. So, that means they're even. So, the next day after Jesse... After Jesse talked with Boogie2988, Jesse and Swift decided to head over to the airport by heading over to Arkansas because he decided to be to, because Francis wanted him to meet want to meet Francis decided to meet him and Swift over. So remember, and then in the next part of the video, after the plane, he was inside of um after he was inside of the plane with Swift for a while, for like a few hours, man. Sorry, guys. It, it's all because of my allergies. And I'm glad fall is almost here, folks. I repeat, guys. Fall is almost here. So, guys. When after um, Jesse and Swift arrived in Arkansas, Boogie2988, you know, Boogie decided to come by to see Jesse and Swift. And I also remember two years ago when I posted my video, right? Um... Oh, yeah, before he was in Arkansas, Jesse explained to Swift of why he was going crazy. Because, remember, in the, like I said before, he explained to Swift that he saw on the playlist and he might find out that Paper Boy was pranking him along with um, Boogie. He couldn't find out about him. <clears throat> so, back to this, folks. Jesse and Swift decided to meet up with Boogie. Because, remember, he took his car and went after he head back to New Jersey. It was back in November, which was last, like, two years ago, back in 2016, when, when I was 22 years old, folks, if you guys remember. So, guys, after Jesse, after Jesse finally came to Arkansas and meet up with Boogie, they decided to have dinner. So... I'm really happy that he finally been losing weight, just like Swift is about to lose weight for his weight and slash weight loss. Because I'm happy for Boogie. He he lost a, he the weight and slash weight loss moment was amazing for Boogie. I'm happy he has lost a lot of weight to make him better, to make him stay healthy and stuff. Because I'm happy for Boogie. He is an amazing YouTuber, and I subscribe to his YouTube channel ever since. Because Boogie2988 is a great YouTuber. I mean, we all loved him. We all respect him. So remember, they were having a dinner together. And that was that. They were having dinner together for a while. To have 
a great time and having some real food and stuff. And I heard Jesse saying that he wanted to make some longer videos. And after the keep it Reggie, he said, stay healthy. You you know I love eating some real healthy stuff. Like, I love eating some granola bars. And I like eating some um, neutral grains. Neutral grains are good too. And eat, always drink. If you, if you can't eat any vegetables, just drink out of it. That will help you out to make you stay active. But I love eating celery. Celery is a good good for you and all the other vegetables you can try so with that being said guys before I, before I go remember if you haven't seen my uh, my video of how he was trapped in um in the attic be sure to check out remember here's the proof I did my reaction two years ago and I got like four more than four thousand views on my video which is two years ago right I did not expect myself to get a lot of views when I told, I said about Parker to be brave to save Jesse from Boogie because he was trapped in the attic. Guys, if it happens again, folks, when I, the next time I watch this video, folks, the next time it happens again, if Boogie did some crazy stuff on Jesse or Swift, you know what's going to happen again, guys? Like what happened two years ago when I was 22 years old? Back in 2016, folks? He's going to trap him in the attic again for the second time. Just like Raging Dad, which is Creed's YouTube channel, trapped him and Keon in the attic for what happened at the barbershop. I'm going to find out if it happens again, folks. If he tries to trap him in the attic again like he did two years ago. If you haven't seen the video. Because it's all because of Michael known as Boy And Boogie2988. They pranked him. So hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. I told you it's because of the allergy guys. So. Guys if it happens again. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out it happens the next time I see this video in the future videos. Yes, I will be posting my video the next time it happens in the future videos if he tries to hurt Jesse and Swift and try to trap him in the attic like he did two years ago. All because Pickle Boy pranked him. You know, along with Boogie2988. So I'm going to find out. I'm going to say on my next reaction video, be brave, Swift, be brave, save Jesse from Boogie. And it's going to happen again when, like I said about Park to Parker, I told Parker to be brave, save Jesse from Francis. I'm sorry, save Jesse from Boogie. And that's it. But I'm going to find out soon in the future video when I do my reaction video the next time it happens. So anyways, that concludes my reaction of how he decided to move in with Boogie 2988. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out Boogie2988 on his YouTube channel. He is an amazing YouTuber. Always talk about any games and stuff, which is cool. And everything, including all the movies he wanted to see. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on, I mean, like this video, I mean. Then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat down in the description box. So guys... Jesse, here's in Arkansas for now. So, guys, he's not in L.A., guys. He's in Arkansas. Jeff knows Cycle Day is going to find out that he's not in L.A. He, If he finds out about this, he is going to be 1 million percent, 100, I'm sorry, 1 million percent furious as heck, dude. Of him lying to him. That's what I gotta say. I'm gonna find out what happens if he calls him. It tells him he's in L.A. So. Anyways, that concludes my video. Get ready for the big weekend, guys. And guys, before I go. I'm praying for her. I'm praying for the people. Thank you. I'm praying for the people around North and South Carolina. I hope you guys stay safe. Because Hurricane Florence is going to get really, really bad out there, guys. 
They're going to get a lot of rain. And these people are going to lose power. I'm praying for North Carolina. And I'm praying for South Carolina. Including Atlanta if it hits there. You know in Georgia. Because it's about to go down. Because they're going to lose everything. I'm praying for North and South Carolina folks. So for real. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great happy Thursday. I will see you guys later. And don't forget to feel the thunder. I will see you guys later on my next reaction video. And again, I'm praying for North Carolina. And I'm praying for uh, South Carolina. Because of the huge, because of the hurricane Florence headed their direction. I'm praying for both North and South Carolina. So again, I'll see you guys later on my next reaction video. So have a good day, guys.